Dude, we're standing on a Japan is a country with a long history and an amazing culture. Japan Treasure Hunters is on the quest to find it and bring it to you. Hey, welcome to Japan Treasure Hunters. Um, actually, I, I guess this is a good time to announce that this is one of our last few trips out. Um, I have to move to while. Guam. At least yeah, for a while. At least for a while. So we're, we're trying to catch up as many as we can right now. And, and we brought out some of our work pals from YMC, which is a great company out of Boise that's doing a lot of mechanical work for us. So uh, Ott, you want to talk about yourself a little bit right quick? Yeah, hey, my name's Ott Craig. I met John and uh, Robert out here. Um, we've talked about coming out numerous times and uh, we finally got out to do it and we're excited about doing it. And uh, right next to me, we got Gannon. I'm Gannon Malloy, I'm from Idaho. Uh, in the hunting, fishing, everything outdoors, so I'm excited to see what we can find. So yeah, we've talked about getting these guys out here for a long time a now. We can finally do it. The weather's fantastic today. It's unseasonably warm for, for February. February, yeah, it's like. So we're gonna go up to a place that we've been before. That's uh, it's about what about a thousand years old actually. Yeah. The trail in the area up here. So. Let's Although go the to coins it. we found last time only went a couple hundred years back. Yeah, they were only like 400 years. So I mean. It is what it is, it's I still, guess. It's still older than where we're from. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's roll. So it, it was under the surface, but it was just under the yeah. surface. And it's right here. Haven't even picked it up and dusted it off yet. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Beautiful, oh, Yomo. Right there. There we go. So that coin is after 1765 ish. It's after that. Wow, that's so cool. It's after, it's after that, but. It's still around that old. Yeah, it's still still about that old, yeah. So so Robert, if you hold that out after he gets a good shot. Is that eleven line? Nice. I, I wanted you to take a look at the back of that. Okay. So this is an eleven line one. So they made two of these. They made a twenty one line, which they they only made for one year, and then the eleven line after that. So this is an eleven line, so then I know for sure it's after seventeen sixty five. So this is a yon moan, right? Um, oh, this is a bunkyu yon moan, which I can tell you exactly when this one was made. This was made about 1853. Really? That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. So what I want to do is I want you to listen to that through this, and so that way you can kind of hear what that tone sounds like. Yeah. It's amazing on how good a shape it's in. You know, to where yeah. it's been in the ground for 150 solid. years or so. Yeah. Almost 200 years. So that would be a copper alloy. Really? Oh, wow. Take a picture of it. Yeah. Well, hopefully you can I'll get one for one yourself. Year. Actually, I, I keep looking around. I right will. Is this one here, the, a Yomon as well? Uh, yeah, I think I think I give you a Yomon, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to yeah. that one. Dude, there's a shed right here. Dude. <laughs> Dude, we're standing on a shed. He's going to the shed. I literally went like this, and I was like, Good job. Good job. <laughs> good job. And so, what's the significance of a shed here? Yeah. So, like good luck or what? So the sheds back home, what we do is we'll go out just like you guys are doing with the, the metal detectors. We'll go out and look for deer sheds and Indian artifacts, arrowheads, and sheds are just kind of at this time of year at home. That's that's what we do. That's what we do, yeah. That's nice. Hunters and fishermen back home. Nice. There it is. So, All right. Nice. Fun. We can go home now. We, we, we can go home now. <laughs> now, now watch, that's the only things we find all day. Yeah. <laughs> Just like right there. One of John's favorites. No. Akane? No. Yeah. Oh, I found a pipe too? Yep. You found a pipe? Yeah. Oh, Robert's on fire today. There we go. Kiseru. Yeah. Kind of a chromey silver color too. It's not silver though. I don't think it was uh, ringing up lower than a silver would. But uh, we can tell John it's silver for a second and see what he does. Yeah. Get that gold, man. <laughs> gold, now silver, man. <laughs> let's let's go get his reaction. Tell him it's silver. So John, 
Have you ever seen a silver cassette? No, I have not, but that could also... It's not silver. No. I, I just wanted to get your yeah. reaction when you yeah. saw the color and said, hey, it's silver. It's silver plated though. Yeah. Nice. Robert, you're, you're, you're gonna blow everything out now. <laughs> Find nothing but pull tabs well, last, the rest of the day. Last week was your oh. week, yeah, <laughs> last week was my week. No, last week was my week for pull tabs. Oh, true, true. You should have seen them all I dumped out. <laughs> I, I, I put them all in there. I know exactly how many there were. So for castle layouts, like I was kind of explaining yesterday, they're usually broken up into three sections. So this is gonna be one of the entrances up to it here, so. So the first set of fortifications on a flat spot where they can set up. Right. And, and throughout the years, I'm sure they've changed it and they've had like a rest building here or something like that or they stored supplies here. Or hunting cabin. <laughs> Later on, yeah. Tell yeah. Want, yeah, 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 that's good. Just a second. All right, perfect. You got something over there? So that's probably tin foil, but you can try it out. Here, let me get a good at hey, look at me. There you go. <laughs> Action shot. Yeah. All right, so do the same thing, pinpoint it. Yeah, yeah. So, so first he's gonna see if it's on top, of it, like like shallow enough to pinpoint with that and then that way you can dig around it. Mm. But if you can't, then you'll take your shovel and go back a little bit and then hit it. So this would be, and that's, the, that's the other thing, you know, it's like right there where we were at, yeah. just where you found that coin. That's a perfect spot for somebody to stop and take a break for a minute, right? Yep. And that's very well, it could be. And that's where they're pulling something out of their pocket. And yep. You know, taking Checking out, the, to make sure taking out that small pocket the knife or whatever to... So yeah, you go, you go up a few more trees there, you're gonna find the rest of that crap. I don't want any more of you, <laughs> Come on now, Jeff, you're gonna have to bleep that out on the video. <laughs> uh, I'm sure John is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> John's gonna get rid of all that <laughs> on the video. Oh yeah, what you know what, that, that, that's a scare off the bears. Oh, is it? Yeah. So uh, it is 11.30, which means those of us who are working on our schedule are used to lunch about now, but I'm ready, I'm I'm willing oh. to go for the top. Oh yeah. Before we break. Oh, this is just your, your regular lunch schedule? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just uh, <laughs> 11.30, just the regular lunch schedule. What'd you find? It's a Kane Tuho, he found a Kane Tuho. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Well, probably seventeen uh, forties ish. These guys are on a roll. I guess I'm a good tour guide, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All my friends back home will be jealous that I found a sick of deer shed, so I'll just hang it in my truck window or something to brag about. <laughs> <laughs> we got ought or ought not? I, I think ought's not. Again, I'm gonna have to work longer hours now. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yep. Old Piece sunglasses. Of life. Old sunglasses? Well turn around and show them. Imagine being the guys who had to haul all the crap you had to have to build oh, yeah. the fortification at the top. They didn't have no cranes. No. No, no helicopters, <laughs> no. no cranes. No. So. so what they had was people like you, Gannon, <laughs> <laughs> and people like Odd standing here going. <laughs> We're going to need a right. truckload of bricks. Gannon, we, we, we need you to carry up all that water. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
And you think he, you think Javi had a bad with Omar? <laughs> That's nothing to what these guys would have to deal with. Judging by size, that's Kani Tsuho. Ima Koreo Hakenshita. How old is that? Uh, this one, we find these all all the time, and they're they're from all different age ranges. Yeah, I can't. So the details are wiped on that one. You can see Ria. Oh, so 300 or 400 years back. Yeah. So, yeah. 400 years back. Yeah. Probably this is 1,740 years old. That's Take your gloves off. So you nailed it? I nailed it. <laughs> Any snakes in here this time of year? Shouldn't be. We're still coming out of winter. Well, they do have poisonous ones. <laughs> yeah, just watch out though when you're in there because unless it's like completely solid rock, it can cave in. Yeah, nobody did their oxygen test in there, did they? <laughs> did we call the fire department? OSHA would have field day. <laughs> How far did it go back? Uh, it probably goes back. Maybe 80 feet. And then it peels off to the right, and there's another. But it looks like they put concrete in there to seal it up. Found something in there, though. Right? Oh, yeah? Ah, okay. Did you find it out? I found a deadhead. My yeah. first Japanese deadhead. Now. When I went to school, a deadhead was somebody that uh, above the Grateful Dead. Pot and lit like the Grateful Dead. What does it mean where you're from? So what it means, uh, it's either a winter kill or it, it was a deer that got shot and didn't get harvested. This one here looks like it's had some trauma to it at some point. Could have been afterwards, but he was probably a pretty nice little deer. But it looks like the porky pines or something had chewed the rest of his horns off. But it's actually my first Japanese, Japanese dead first dead. find here. Very nice. Yeah. So, Gannon here, he found a bear bell, and this is this is a a, bra a brass copper alloy type. But if you look at the design on the top, oh, that looks old. It's a Tokugawa Iyasu house Iyasu. mark. Iyasu, his house mark. It's made out of brass. Mm-hmm. Wow. So it looks like it's it's possibly uh, related to that. Now, if it if it's really that old, that would be awesome. It could be just like a uh, replica, hmm? like a replica. Or yeah, something. yeah, it could be a replica, but still. Found at the souvenir shop down yeah. the trail. Does but it look like it was carved the top, or, it, or pressed, or homemade, or. Because the condition doesn't look like it's been in the ground all that long. No. <laughs> so I got myself a kiseru on the way out. So I'm happy now. I didn't get skunked. It's a little, it's a little guy. Yeah. It it's a little guy. And it's probably completely copper. Yeah. Because he's completely copper. all patinaed. Very cool. Nice. The funky cold patina. He oh. found a good one. Dude, that trail just keeps going and going and going. It was right on the trail? It was, I honestly almost stepped on it. Really? They're hard. To, they're super hard to see, and this one was like all dirty. Japanese treasure. Very nice. That's awesome. I don't know where it ranks on the Sika deer horns, but it looks like a decent one to me. Yeah, it's pretty good. Cool.